Hi, this is Lane with the Grand Forks Public Library again. Um, we're doing a quick craft today. Um, today we are going to make some rainbows. All right, so these are kind of fun just because they involve coloring, um, but they also involve just a little spritz of water to make your colors run together. Um, so this one's a really fun way to talk about like complementary colors and why things blend nicely together, things like that. I would recommend not using um, black or gray or brown just because they don't run nicely and they don't look very good on these types of things. So just a recommendation for when you're trying to do um, rainbows or things like that. Um, they probably serve their purpose if you were doing like an outdoor landscape or something. Okay, so we'll get started. So the only things you need for this are, we're gonna use um, some uh, bounty, I guess, paper today. Um, but usually I use uh, coffee filters, but I do not have coffee filters at home. We use Keurig or just do by the cup, so I didn't have that. But if you have coffee filters, these, those work great for this. Otherwise, um, paper towels are really great. Um, and they kind of have a fun design on them. Um, so paper towels, um, just whatever color markers you want to use, nice washable markers, and a spray bottle if you have it. Um, if not, you can kind of make it work with a dropper or just kind of spritzing some water on it as well. All right, so um, you also might want something like either wax paper laid down or I'm just gonna use a big plate for today. That seems to work as well, so. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a rainbow on it. Just take a couple minutes to do that quick. You'll see about how big the lines have to be. They do not have to be very big. It's okay to leave a little bit of space between them though, um, because the colors are going to run once you get that water on them. Um, so you can use, like I said, whatever colors you want. It is a fun way to start talking about complementary colors or colors that um, mix well together, split complementary colors, things like that, um, or color blends. Um, you could talk about mixing red and yellow together, makes orange, different things like that. So it can lead to a lot of conversations about art and color too. So, all right, here is my rainbow ready to go. Um, and it did, I did have to practice a few times just to get the right width apart. So you can do that with the kids. There is no way to screw up this activity because it's gonna look beautiful even if it doesn't look like a rainbow at the end. So I'll show you mine after I do my project. So I'm laying mine on the plate just like this. I'm gonna take my bottle of water and I'm gonna give it just enough to wet the whole thing. So like that was three squirts. I'll give it one more just for a little effect. I'm gonna lift it up just to show you what it's doing already. So it's already starting to run and bleed together. Um, I'm gonna leave it for quite a while until it's like dry dry. It might take a good hour or so, um, but you can do tons of these with kids in that time. And it's really cool to watch it spread because it looks like tie dye as it goes. So they'll just enjoy that process. Um, you'll want to leave it flat though, because if you hold it up like that, um, it'll bleed whichever direction that's being held, or downward at least. So, all right, I'm gonna show you some of my projects that I did trying to get my rainbow. So the first time I did it, I used like way too much marker. <laughs> so I made like really big inch thick um, rainbow lines of the different colors. And that one actually ended up turning into like this beautiful landscape. So once it was all over, I took the uh, markers and I went back in and I just added some seagulls and a little island just because it really looked like a beautiful sunset to me. So you can do projects like that too. Once they're dry, go back in and add things. But you can tell it does not look like a rainbow, but it's still gorgeous. So you can do fun stuff like that. This is one that I tried that did not work that super well, but you could go back in, turn this into like maybe a monster or do something fun with that one as well. Um, and then I also had a couple of projects where um, I got the lines too far apart. So there was a little bit of gapping in space between them. So, but my failures actually turned out to be pretty cool. So you can turn your failures into something beautiful too. All right, well, have fun creating. Like I said, you can do this with coffee filters or paper towels, a bottle of water, or just a spritz of your hand with some droplets of water would work really well. 
markers and you're all set. So have fun making.